Hey guys, I'm back again. Whenever I do an oil change, I always look for ways to improve the performance of my car. So today I'm going to clean the throttle body on my Toyota Yaris. On the left you have the engine cover and at the top you have the battery. At the front left hand side is the air box and here's where we'll be working on today. In the middle is the air intake pipe. At one end is the air box which is attached by a 10mm clamp. You have the MAF sensor and the MAF sensor wiring harness which has two cable clamps at the back. The air box also has two clamps, one at the front and one at the back. At the other end of the air pipe is the location of the throttle body, which also has a 10mm clamp, the same as the air box. Finally, you'll need to undo this blue clip. The blue clip has a cable clamp the same as the MAF sensor. And two hoses. If you've never cleaned the throttle body before, or if you don't feel confident undoing so many parts, don't worry, later on in the video, I'll show you an easy way to get to the throttle body, which involves undoing just one component. It'll be a bit of a tight space, but it can be done. Start by removing the MAF sensor electrical wiring harness. Push down on the tab and slide it out. You'll also find a cable clamp. It should just pop right out. Down a little further, there is another cable clamp. Just slide the cable out. Next, remove this hose from the air intake pipe. Just lift it up. Using a 10mm socket, loosen the air pipe clamp. There's no need to remove the bolt, just loosen it. To remove the top of the air box, remove these two clamps. This one goes to the left. and this one goes to the right. Grab the air box and wriggle the intake pipe until it comes off. Moving along, you'll find a blue electrical clip and two hoses. To remove the blue clip, push it down on the tab and slide it out. Pull back the hose clamp and slide the hose out. The other hose also just slides out. The blue clip also has a cable clamp. Pop it out. The bottom of the cable clamp looks like this. If you have trouble removing them, just squeeze the two sides inwards. This is the same clamp used for the MAF sensor. Now loosen the intake pipe clamp using a 10mm socket. Again, just loosen it. There's no need to remove it. Finally, remove the intake pipe from the throttle body. Carefully wriggle it out until it comes off. This is the intake pipe clamp I mentioned at the start of the video. Again, if you don't feel confident removing the airbox and all these hoses and clips, just loosen this clamp and remove the intake pipe from the throttle body. That's all you need to do, nothing else. And finally, here is where the throttle body is located. Looking inside the throttle body, you will see a throttle plate, also known as a butterfly valve. When you put your foot on the gas pedal, it opens up, and when you take your foot off, it's in the closed position. To open and close the throttle plate, 
put the key in the ignition and turn it to the on position. But don't start the engine. Using a stick of some sort, push down on the gas pedal. To close the throttle plate, release the gas pedal and remove the key. You'll notice some black carbon deposits surrounding the throttle plate. There's supposed to be a small gap between the throttle plate and the tube. This gap is responsible for allowing a small amount of air to pass through into the engine while the car is idling. When this space is clogged up, airflow is restricted and your car's computer has to adjust. However, the computer can only do so much and after a while your car will start to idle rough and have poor performance. So it's important to clean this space and free up the airflow when your car is idling. When you restart the engine for the first few times it's normal for the idle to be a little bit high but the computer will automatically readjust itself and the idle will come down to the normal speed. Give the throttle body a few bursts of spray and carefully wipe it out with a microfiber cloth. Be careful not to open the throttle plate with your fingers. Now open the throttle plate and wipe it all clean, being careful again not to move the throttle plate with your fingers. You see how much dirt is coming out. Before you put everything back together, now's a good time to replace the air filter. You'll also notice how dirty and dusty the air box is, so now's a good time to give it a good clean. Now go ahead and replace the air filter. And now we're ready to put the intake pipe back on. Tighten the hose clamp with a 10mm socket. Put the two hoses back on and the hose clamp. Replace the blue electrical clip and the wire clamp. When you put the air box back in, line up the insert with the insert on the intake pipe. Now put the pipe back in place and tighten the clamp with the 10mm socket. Remember to have the airbox clamp in the outward position, facing the right, or the airbox won't go back in. Line up the hinges and push downwards here, and the airbox should go back in nicely. Replace the two clamps. Replace the top hose into the hose clamp on the intake pipe. Now replace the MAF sensor and put the wiring into the two cable clamps. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.